And it's going to sound a little bit harsh, but it's for father's own good. Women like this who try, who try to attempt to use children as a crutch, as a coat of armor, as manipulation, the only way they can do that is if you engage in their game. Now, as somebody who consults men consistently about this type of stuff, what has happened and what does happen is she knows where your weak spot is. She knows your weak spot is your children. She knows that. And the, bo and the thing is with men and women is that we don't fight the same. You see, men can meet each other on the battlefield and they can fight it out. Women have to use lies, manipulation, and control when it comes to a man because they can't use these. And so the only way in which they can control a man is with his children. And so she will go to the go to the lengths that a man won't go to when it comes to the children because she wants to make you feel bad. She wants to get under your skin. She knows that the only way she can actually control you is to use the thing that you love the most or the things that you love the most, which are your children. You have one task as a man, and I'm saying this from experience in the guys that I consult. The one task you have is to not engage in the game. Now, it may sound a little bit harsh. It may sound a little bit wrong. Um, but when I say don't engage in the game, I mean this. If you engage in her game, she now has you where she wants you to, wants to have you. She can now manipulate you with the children. She can say, you can't see them, you can see them. Um, she can go and tell her friends, her, her, her father, her mother, whatever it is. It is all there to try and get under your skin. That's all it's there for, guys, okay? So for all the fathers that are going through situations like this, I would say this, don't engage in the game. And sometimes you may have to get stronger in it and say, you know what, I might not see my children for a while. Because the term narcissist is thrown around a lot. It's thrown around a lot nowadays. And from what I can see when I consult a lot of these men is that narcissistic traits live with a lot of women who have children and use them as pawns against the father. They have a lot of narcissistic traits. And one of the things to do to a narcissist is to cut them off. They don't have any contact with you whatsoever. None. They don't hear from you. You don't email them. You don't text them. It may sound harsh. You can talk to your children if you want, but you don't engage in their game. And when that happens, guys, I'm telling you, this is me speaking from experience and listening to all these guys and seeing it myself. You are going to be contacted by people who you have no idea existed. You're going to be contacted by the uncle. You're going to be contacted by the father, by the friend, by someone's going to contact you and say, hey, you know what? So-and-so told me about this and blah, blah, blah. I think you guys should do this to the, for the kids and blah, blah, blah. Don't engage. Do not engage. That is her way of trying to get you back in to her energy field. What you must do, stay out of her energy field. Now, I know that sounds harsh. Jesse, what do you think? 